Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video. Today we're going to be checking out another custom modded solar system object. So today we have a custom Saturn from the user Demunik in Discord. So a massive thank you to him for sending this to us to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us in this video. So, workshop. Okay, where are we? It should be down here. Alrighty, okay. So... What have we got? It's taken a while to load. That's already been interesting because normally simulations would be fairly fast. Aha! Right. Super realistic Manga Bandit Saturn 2000 plus bands 50,000 particles. Okay. Looking pretty cool. That's cool. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, look at the back of it. Oh, he's deleted the ring particles. Look at that. Ah, that gives it a little sort of illusion if I look behind it. That kind of reminds me of the iconic Cassini photograph of Saturn from the other side, from behind. Actually, well, why don't we actually add a sun in here to sort of give us that sort of illusion? How would that look? Uh, something like that. I think the sun's a bit too close. Whoa, oh, yeah, that's definitely... Move a little further away. Somewhere there, I guess. Because we do need the glow from the sun to sort of fill it up. It kind of reminds me of the Cassini picture in a way, doesn't it? Sort of, uh, Saturn there. Eh, that's so cool. The rings, the rings looking incomplete look a little funny. I think we'd have to sort of rotate those around a bit, but let's see if we can actually get it looking like the Cassini photograph. Um, anything to read in here? It's just, okay, so if you want to use this, you can use it. Just make sure to put credit in. Okay. Cool. Right, so we'll leave that alone. Let's try and actually try and line it up to look like the, uh, Cassini picture. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll rotate it a bit. Oh, okay, there you go. Just slightly tilted, so let's try and get it correct. That does look really cool. So for Saturn from behind. It does look weird with the rings sort of being incomplete, but you just sort of have to line it up perfectly to so it looks like the shadow is blocking it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So just getting a closer look at it as well. So you can see the blue atmosphere glow. Also, you can see the lots and lots of bands. And that's looking pretty wild indeed. Let's open this up. Let's have a look, a look at the bands. So if we open it, oh, come on. Oh, it's taking some time. Right, appearance. Oh, is it going to have it? Yeah. And that. Ah, okay. We can run it. Look at all that. That is pretty crazy. Okay, wow. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and remove those, actually. See if we can try and get it to... Get rid of the rings. There you go. Ah, that's better. Now we can actually run the simulation. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I, mean, I already have a copy saved, actually, because I um, had an issue with the simulation the other day. I tried filming this the other day, actually. And had an issue where Saturn was all blacked out if we look here if I search um, Saturn yeah I had this it, the planet just looked like this image here it was all blacked out but I'm assuming it works now yeah it does so there it is there I'm gonna try putting it in a normal sort of simulation I'm gonna see how it sort of looks so I'm just gonna go to my um, update 31 solar system sim here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the Saturn in here with the this new modded Saturn. So, I'm going to see how it looks around the sun. I'm going to try and add the rings in, try and make it look like the Cassini picture. I think that could look quite cool. So, replace. Actually, I'm just going to bring a picture of the Cassini um, up as well, just on my device here. I want to see if we can try and actually make it look like that, because I think that could look really cool. So Saturn from behind, so it has that iconic sort of blue glow. So, how are we going to make that then? See, because from that picture, you can actually see the rings around it. So, ooh. Actually, what I'm thinking is, no, no, we'll go in the normal. Now, to get the blue glow, we're going to need probably need a blue star to sort of do that. So, let's see if we can do a bit of photography in this um, in this video. So. Um, it doesn't really matter what star we use, we just need something that's blue. So I'm going to use Rigel, place it over there. The, the screen used to be all black, like he had in his simulation, so... Um, 
And then they remove those old ones. So what we need to do is use just stars and turn that off. There we go. Close that. Okay, so we've got Rigel. Okay, now we want to grab our Saturn. So, I may just make this my primary Saturn, actually. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to place it there. Okay, so zoom all the way in. Okay, so we've got the blue glow sorted out. So we just need to add the rings to it and make sure position them correctly. So, oh, Osri, it's heating up. Oh, that's not good. Oh, um, yeah, we don't want to do that. Let's put it back to zero degrees. I forgot the simulation was playing. Oh, so let's go to zero. There we go. Okay, rings. This is just for artistic purposes. We're going to go with satin rings. Yes. Okay, so looking from behind. Okay, so we need to somehow rotate satin to sort of close this. So we need to try and get the rings to sort of look perfect. Well, that's maybe more difficult than I thought. So I just maybe maybe if I make Rigel a bit bigger or closer. Um I guess we just make it bigger just to try and get we want to try and get that blue glow as big as possible. So if I double it up. Ooh. Maybe a little smaller. Uh somewhere in the middle, something like that. So it's got the blue glow. Obviously we need to add a wide range of rings. Yes, kind of turned into checking out a fancy object, making sort of a cool little uh, photography thing as well. So, just kind of making that Cassini look from behind, and it's looking up really awesome. Oh no, no, the rings need to be like that. So we need to actually rotate. So I'm gonna try and make it as photo accurate. They need to be upwise like this in this image. So you get something like that. And what we need to do as well is we need to add the outer rings so that you can only see from behind Saturn. What are these Saturn clouds? They're always quite an interesting. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no way. Or could we use those? If we, why, it's, it's annoying they're glowing hot. I don't want them being glowing hot. Can we just make... I don't want them being glowing hot like that. They do look good though. That's the thing. That's annoying. Hmm. Is there any way I can make them they're not glowing hot? Because I don't want them being red. That's the issue of having Rigel here. Actually, I could probably turn Rigel's luminosity off. That'll probably stop them glowing hot. So if I let's zero. Oh, no, that ruins the glow, though. Ah, no. Why are they going to do that? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, forget that, then. Okay, so we're going to have to try the rings. So that's annoying. The rings are... I like the particle rings. They do look good. Oh, well, so we'll use the traditional look, then. Well, actually, what I could do is add the particles in first. There you go. Okay. Then add the regular rings. It's kind of a mix of both. So I don't know. Mm. Maybe have to. So satin clouds. What if I made these sort of further out? There, the the these sort of hidden outer rings you can only see from behind. Maybe that'll look. How'd that look? Make them look like blue in a way, a uh, manual color, a light blue. So how does that work? Ah, oh, okay. Let's try and get the right shade of blue. Nah, I don't know about that. Now nah, the blue is too much. I think that's. We just have to use. Just have to use the uh, regular particles. I think. Hang on. So let's uh, scratch that. Add Rigel back. So, where are we? Yeah, it's not often I really do portraits, but um, this is, I kind of go into this sort of detail when I make my thumbnails, actually. So we can sort of see some, uh, some sort of stuff I'd normally do yeah, when making thumbnails. But yeah, onto the satin itself as well, though. It's a very good-looking object, I have to say. It does look really nice. I mean, the, the, we saw how many bands it had. I mean, that was insane how many bands it had, so... You know, you can see he put a lot of time into making this. So, yeah, well done to him because it is, it is a really, really good looking build. So, yeah, I definitely like that. See, how about that? How does that look, you think? I mean, again, we need to sort of rotate the uh, planet just to be in line with the star. So, it needs to be like that. I'm quite liking the particles, actually. So, what if I then do 
So we go add again. And I'm assuming this will have the same issue when I add. Oh, oh no, they're not. Okay. Maybe we put Rigel far enough out this time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to times this up to two. Add them now. So you can sort of do the outer thinner rings as well. So that kind of stands quite nicely there. So we'll first get me to try and actually do a colour with the Rigel. Sort of bluer shade. Because they all see, they stand out. If you look at the picture, they stand out a lot more than the normal um, the normal rings do, which look more like a gold and yellow. So this looks pretty good, actually. How about that? What do you think of that? Maybe I'll add like, two alternative stars at different angles to try and sort of make it look good as well. So there you go. So there, there's a good sort of look of Saturn from behind Cassini. That does look actually. That does actually look really good. Uh, what I'm going to do is, obviously, we need to add some more rings as well. But I'm going to try and add two regular stars on either side. So this is what I do in thumbnails as well. Is sometimes to get the light, make the light look really good. I add two additional stars like this to, to sort of change the lighting look a bit. So then you get something like that, and it makes the rings glow more as well. So I just have to position these two suns at the correct angle so they're off camera. So yeah, they're still on camera, but it makes the rings glow, and you can sort of see a bit of the colour of the planet on either side, which is um, something I quite like to do sometimes. If I move these just a little further away, like that, and then you get something like this, and now you can see the yellow of Saturn a little more, which does look really cool. So I just need to try and position that sun in a better spot. But there you go. So what do you think of that? Just to get a bit of colour to Saturn as well. Again, this star needs to move away a bit just to get it off camera. So there you go, so you get something like that. It just adds a little more to it, so. And I just want to make sure Saturn is perfectly rotated in line. What do you think of that? That's what it, what it looks like from the front as well, so don't look at it from the front. This is only to be looked from behind. And then all it needs really doing now is we just need to add the rest of the rings in so what we need to simply do here is add satin rings and then basically double up like that so you get a nice big set of rings obviously it lags the game out more but you get something like that and then I can also rotate the camera just to get it perfect zoom out and there's your sort of satin from behind Cassini and then it's all about just getting Rigel to be the correct sort of size so let's try and select where's Rigel gone Rigel, there you go. Okay, I think I'm going to make you a little smaller because you still a little. I want to say it's a little too bright. So we're going to double it down. Game's getting obviously laggy because we got a lot of rings in there. So come on, Rigel, open up. Come on, don't freeze on us. We put so much time into this. <laughs> Just open. Oh god, I hope we haven't broken something. Don't do this to us, Rigel. I just want to make you smaller. Oh no. Oh god. No. It's frozen. I can't I don't want to click anything. Oh god. I'm gonna give it five minutes, guys, and we're gonna see. I do not want to have to start this again. Okay guys, so I am back. I actually had to restart the simulation as the game did crash. So very, very annoying, because yeah, we added the ring particles in too early there. But this time I've got Rigel where I want it. I've still got my two suns, just to give that a little bit extra bit of light on either side. So all I need to do now is just add our increase our Saturn ring count up a bit. So it should be nice and easy. So let's go ahead and do this. So again, Saturn down here, nice and easy. We need to obviously select Saturn itself. So there we go. And increase our ring count a bit until we get something like this. So that's looking pretty cool. What do you think of that? So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to lower that a bit, actually. I'm not going too many in there. Something like that. There we go. What do you think of that? That does look pretty good. So, I'm going to close it there. I'm going to call that a job well done. And there is our sort of satin from uh, behind Cassini sort of look. So, what do you think of that? I think that does look quite good, so... It's got the glowy blue extended rings out from behind as well. So, there you go. Then it's all about just positioning the camera perfectly. So, something like 
that. And I'd say, yeah, there you go. That is a very special, very special custom Saturn made in a, made with a very special sort of picture to go with it as well. So, what do you think of that? I think that does look quite good. So, there you go. I'll even get a, uh, get a screenshot of that. So. Yeah, it looks good. That'll probably be our thumbnail as well. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, again, a massive thank you to Demunik for sending in his custom Saturn here. So let's just get one more look at the uh, one more look at the planet as well. So this is the one with the atmosphere on it as well. So yeah, looking very very nice. If we just um, get a look at it as well about all of the uh, the atmosphere on it. So yeah, there you go. It's got a very nice mix of colours. It's got the nice blues in the north and south as well. I really like the North Pole. I think that looks really good. But yeah, there we go. So there is the custom Saturn. And yeah, there's my little custom sort of uh, Cassini artist impression look from behind as well. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video featuring this planet. And yeah, thank you to Demunic again for sending this in. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.